There'll be a baby born later on this afternoon. There's going to be more babies born tomorrow. We can do something here at Semaphore and really make a big difference to women all over the world. Semaphore's focus on women's health really originated with sequencing-based technologies, ability to inform on all of the mutations a woman may carry that doesn't cause disease in herself, but if passed on to her offspring could cause catastrophic illness. We've now dramatically expanded those capabilities. We seek to understand the woman's condition and state throughout that pregnancy journey. We have a very broad testing portfolio at Semaphore, ranging from reproductive testing and prenatal testing, pediatric testing, pharmacogenomic testing, and molecular oncology. One of the things we are able to do in Semaphore is to really go broader with our testing, to think about the ways that we can innovate the testing so that it's more of a complete solution for uh, the physician and the patient. We look at patients in a very holistic way. You have to do the same thing now with science. It can't just be genomics, and it just can't be the transcriptome. It can't just be bioinformatics. It has to be the ability to pull all those different aspects together as one. By using information, we can figure out in advance if a couple's at risk of having an unhealthy child. We could develop decision support tools that can really counsel and guide both patients and doctors. So instead of always fixing things afterwards, we're preventing disease and one of the great paradigm changes of all of medicine. So one of the things Semaphore is doing and being able to aggregate large-scale data regarding the health of a patient in the context of her care and the pregnancy journey is we're building using machine learning, so think advanced artificial intelligence, predictive modeling, leveraging all the data we have access to in the context of that patient's data to provide better risk models for the different comorbidities of pregnancies. If we can better assess the risk of a woman for any of those disorders, a physician will then know how to better intervene or what to watch for, or how to better guide the woman through her journey. One of the conditions we're targeting is preeclampsia. Physicians are looking at some of the risk factors for preeclampsia and looking at things like blood pressure, but what we're able to do in having a much more comprehensive set of data around the patient is we can now build models across all pregnant women that have ever been in the systems we work with, so hundreds of thousands of women, and understanding what are the characteristics of those women who developed preeclampsia, and then we can start building predictive models based on features that a physician never would have imagined could stratify a patient into a preeclampsia risk group. Uh, we work closely with the physicians that design the study and also interpret our findings from the predicted model. And also we want to construct the features by leveraging all the clinical relevance and to deliver the useful clinical application in clinics. One of our big aims is to be able to, through data aggregated on a patient, not just within a health system, but think of where they live, what are they exposed to on a daily basis, what are the stress levels, what are the pollution levels, the pollen counts, all of these variables that you don't think about day to day in, in terms of your health, we can model that information around a given patient and provide more accurate risk. I think taking that whole journey from the molecular to the human is where Semaphore really excels. If we can take data points such that the provider, wherever they might be, can quickly take a look at that medical record, take all the information that is there, and give a predictive model of which woman really needs that focus so that she can go home healthy herself along with a healthy baby, well, that's the goal of everything at Semaphore.